Welcome to our cabin D211, which is the sea view cabin here on PO Aurora. The first thing you can see before we enter the cabin is all your cruise information and cruise cards are here waiting for you when you arrive. And we have got a small Christmas decoration as we're sailing over New Year. One thing you will notice on our cruise cards is we have a deluxe gold sticker. That means at this time of our cruise, we have a deluxe drinks package. The sticker will be on your cruise card when you arrive at your cabin. Now there is no need to queue up at any bar area or anything like that anymore. The sticker will be on your cruise card when you arrive at the cabin. These cabins are newly installed in an area of the ship that did used to be the kids club. So we'll see what they're like. Let's go on in. Well, welcome inside the cabin now. And the first thing you see on the back of the door is all the safety information, along with information about where our muster point is located. On this cruise, our muster point is muster point E. Located next to the door then, the first thing you have is the climate control panel. Here you can turn the temperature of the room up or down as you wish. And then located just on the entrance to the cabin is the light switch. Now what you do notice is that there is lots of space here. As you can see, there is plenty of space as you enter the cabin, which is actually quite unusual. On the right located here is a full length mirror. Great for getting those finishing touches done on an evening. Just located next to the mirror then is a handy waste paper bin. Then you will find this huge vanity unit. Yes, there is plenty of space here with lots of shelves for storage some information about p and cruises, and then your card where you can tell your cabin steward whether you're in the room or it's ready to be made up. Also located on the vanity unit itself is a kettle, two mugs and two glasses. Underneath the kettle is all the tea and coffee making facilities. If you need any more of the tea and coffee, you can always ask your cabin steward who would be happy to provide it. Now located underneath the vanity unit itself is a chair. Also, there are four drawers on one side with the hairdryer located in the bottom drawer. And then there is the mini fridge. This mini fridge does come empty, so you're free to put whatever you like inside. Also, there is a light switch with a light above the mirror. You can use that to turn it on or off. Plus, there are two UK sockets located just behind the kettle. Over on this side of the room then you will find two cold hooks of a good size. So if you haven't brought those magnetic hooks that we do usually recommend, there is somewhere to hang some clothing. Then you move on to the wardrobe. This is a freestanding wardrobe, quite unusual for cruise ships. Inside the wardrobe, there is a reasonable amount of hanging space, but definitely not the most we've seen. There is also three shelves located, but there aren't any drawers. Above on the top shelf, you've got your two life jackets and a little bit of storage space. And then the other thing that's located in here is the safe. You would probably fit an iPad in there, but you'd struggle to fit a large size laptop. P&O do provide you with this bag so you can send off your laundry. The prices are located on a separate slip. Fill that in and leave it in your cabin. Now, just next to the wardrobe is this lovely chair. Like we said earlier, there are two chairs located in this room, one under the vanity unit and one just here, and a small table just located in front of it. Located next to the bed then is a telephone, and here we also have our TV remote control, and p and have left us a little pad and pen. Underneath the bedside table, there is two drawers, quite small though, so be aware of that. And above the bedside table, you will find a light switch, a reading light, and then a lamp. What there isn't in this cabin is any USB ports. There is exactly the same located on the opposite side of the bed. The two drawers in the bedside table, the light switch, the reading light, and the lamp itself. From what we can see then, that means the only two sockets that are located in the room are behind the kettle. Here is this huge bed. It looks a really good size. We'll test it out to see how comfortable it is and we shall let you know at the end of the video in our review. In the middle of the bed though, there is another set of light switches. This bed is set up as a double, but it can be split into two singles if you need to. Just ask your cabin steward. On arrival, you will find all the information you need located on top of your bed. So we've got a little welcome back from the Peninsula Club and our Horizon magazine that tells you all the goings on about the ship each day. On embarkation day, you'll always have a luggage mat located on top of your bed. Just helps you unpack there. 
Directly opposite the bed is this huge TV. Actually, it's a really good size because on some of the other P&O ships, for example, Azura, the TVs are much smaller. So in an older ship like Aurora, it's great to see a TV of this size. Now, there's so much positive about this cabin, but there is one massive problem, and that is this window. When we booked the cabin, we booked it as a sea view room, clearly stated sea view cabin. When we were assigned the cabin though, we were met with this view, which is tables, chairs, sunbeds, a bar just there, all located directly outside the window. We have been outside with the light switched on and you can see through the window. So it's going to be a massive, massive drawback for most people wanting this cabin. We're going to see how it goes, but we are not keen on it at all and we think on sunnier cruises the noise and the comings and goings that could happen here uh, would be a massive problem so yeah we booked this as a sea view cabin we can't really see much sea we can see a lot of tables and chairs before we go into the bathroom i just wanted to point out there are two hooks located on the back of the bathroom door if you need them let's go in now this is actually quite a light and spacious bathroom already i can see one problem that all cruisers talk about is the shower curtain yes we're not a big fan of a shower curtain like most people aren't just located on this side there is mirrors surrounding all this wall in the cabin which is really nice makes it nice and bright and behind the mirrors there are shelves the shelves are a good size and you will find your glass located inside these cupboards Underneath the cupboards there is a shaver socket located just here. Underneath the mirrors then there is a wash basin with some white company hand soap and then underneath the wash basin you will find some tissues and a waste paper bin. When looking into the bathroom it is all spotless to clean on the surfaces however this vent located just up here it is absolutely caked in dust. So we will be mentioning that to our cabin steward when he arrives to meet us. Behind me are then two rails with shelves, both bath towels and hand towels. Underneath the bath towels, you will find the toilet with the toilet roll. Into the shower itself, this shower is very tight. So I'm not a big person, but as you can see, it's probably a hand width either side of me. So it's gonna be quite difficult to shower in here. Yes, as we mentioned before, that is the shower curtain. The products that are in here are the White Company once again. You get a bath and shower gel and a shampoo. You'd need to request the conditioner from your cabin steward. There are two very small basket style shelves located on the wall, so there is somewhere to store your toiletries. Finally, there is a washing line located just above me here inside the shower. See you later. We have been in this cabin now for five nights, so we thought we'd tell you all about what we think. We booked a sea view cabin, save a fare, here on p and Aurora. That meant the P&O allocated us this cabin a few days before our cruise started. So what are the positives about this cabin? Well, we've got three positives for you that we think are the main things that are good about this cabin. Number one, it is one of the newest cabins on the ship. So that means it is super modern and super spacious. The bathroom is absolutely beautiful. We have seen some of the older style cabins with the pink decor. And we've got to say that this bathroom is beautiful, well equipped, well designed, and very fresh and new. The second positive is the convenience. The glass house is only a few meters just down the corridor, so it is very convenient if you like to get out and about into all of those different venues. The third positive for a sea view cabin, there is plenty of space in here. The aircon works fantastically. We've got a wonderfully large TV. It does feel very spacious and very modern. Now, there are lots of negatives about this cabin, and this is exactly why you should not stay in this cabin if you are allocated this cabin do your best to keep away from it the first thing we noticed on embarkation day was the view now there is no sea view at all you cannot see any of the ocean the only thing you're treated to are a number of tables and the aft terrace pool area we have had people looking through our cabin window we've had people walking past in various states of undress we can see everybody who walks past the cabin and they can clearly see us so we have to keep our curtains closed constantly so you might as well have stayed in an inside cabin. 
even though there is a reflective coating on the window. When the lights are on inside the cabin, you can clearly see everything from outside. So as you can see, there's a gentleman here cleaning today. This is the type of view that we constantly get. There's some lovely couples in the hot tubs either side as well. Yeah, not great. Everyone can see perfectly inside this cabin everything that's going on. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to close the curtains again. We just wanted to show you what it was like. Another huge disadvantage is, I know I said the convenience of this cabin was a positive, but a major, major disadvantage is also the location because we are directly over Carmen's. Carmen's is a venue that unlike the theatre for example is used just a few times during the day. Carmen's is used continuously day and night so it is an early morning venue where they do dance classes, aerobic classes, things like that. And then Singing. It is singing classes. <laughs> And then it is a late night venue and it's advertised as a late night venue every night on board where there is loud music playing till the early hours of the morning every single night that it's open. Due to the location of this cabin and Carmen's frequent activity, we can honestly say we can hear everything word for word. It has been an, a horrendous experience and this is genuinely the worst cruise cabin we have ever stayed in. Yep. If you haven't watched our vlogs we have pointed this out to reception every single day of our cruise and we've asked for a response for reception, we've requested to move and not once has anyone ever got back to us with a solution. So it's been really really disappointing level of customer service. So just to point out to you that we have flagged it up to the team on board many times but nobody has been concerned about it. In fact, the only response we've been given is you should have asked your travel agent to allocate you a different cabin, despite the fact that we booked a save affair and P&O allocated it for us. So I don't know. Then the only other thing that we think is a little bit of a negative is the storage space for hanging clothes. Only one side of the wardrobe you can hang clothes because the other side has shelves with a safe which means you can't really hang anything there so there's very little hanging space. So would we stay in this cabin again? And the answer is an absolute unequivocal no. And we would recommend to anyone who is allocated a cabin either in this cabin or anyone's along our row is to absolutely refuse to stay in them because you will have an awful time staying in these cabins and the team on board do not want to know. They clearly said to us we are aware of where your cabin is, we know what happens in there but we can't do anything about it. Thanks for watching our Sea View cabin tour and review here on PO Aurora. If you've got any comments or questions, just pop them in the box below and we'll get back to you. If you'd like to support us in creating future content, we're also available on Patreon. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free. And hit that bell notification button to never miss a video from us. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more content available on our YouTube channel, so press that subscribe button. If you're interested in receiving daily updates, we're available on most social media platforms. Just search for Tom and Dom Travel.